Hi awesome people. Welcome to our Pets Academic channel. Today, I'm talking about the topic, can you own a capybara in Florida? If you are new to our Pets Academic channel, please subscribe. You can also like and comment on our videos so that we can get to know you better. Consider reading the full in-depth blog post I have written on this topic. You can find it by going to the link in the description. So, let's dive in. Capybaras are known for their friendly nature and are very social. They live in groups of 10 to 20 individuals. They are found near lakes, rivers, ponds, and marshes in South America. Capybaras have thick, oily fur to protect them from the cold water and long curved claws that help them navigate around rocky riverbeds. Most people wonder whether it's possible to own capybaras in Florida. The truth is that capybaras can be adopted as personal pets without having a permit. Capybaras in Florida are classified as Class IA wildlife by the state government. What are the places you can see capybaras in Florida? If you've ever wanted to see a capybara in real life, Florida has several places where you can do just that. The Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens is home to two capybaras. While visiting the zoo, you can also take part in its conservation efforts, which include field research projects aimed at protecting endangered species. The Palm Beach Zoo and Conservation Society in West Palm Beach also house capybaras. It's a great place to learn about conservation efforts while exploring the exotic animals on display. At the Brevard Zoo in Melbourne, you can see up close two different species of capybara, the yellow-toothed caiman and the giant river otter. The zoo also has a capybara-dedicated exhibit called Capybara Way, which offers educational opportunities through interactive experiences and even special encounters with these animals. What other exotic pets are legal in Florida? In addition to capybaras, Florida also allows for the ownership of a variety of exotic pets. For example, you can own sugar gliders, hedgehogs, skunks, foxes, marmosets, and even sloths in certain areas of the state. It is important to remember that each species has its own unique care requirements and regulations, so it is essential to research the animal in question before ownership. In the full blog post I have written on my website, I have done hours of research and I have written much more details about the above topic and subtopics. The blog article is more than a thousand words, and I dive into each of the above topics, covering many more questions around them. Just click the link below, and you can read all about my research on this topic. See you inside the blog post, and let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below. Have a great day, and thank you for checking out PetsAcademic.com.